It's Friday, and what better way to spend your weekend than with art? One of the biggest local art events of the year is happening, and it's inside a car park. Shyla Francisco gives us a peek into Art Fair Philippines. We're here in Art Fair Philippines where a number of talks and exhibits are lined up until Sunday. 40 gallery owners and more than 16,000 visitors expected to attend the event, which got me thinking if this represents a local art scene, then what defines our art market? The fair is drawing a mix of viewers ranging from serious investors, art enthusiasts, the plain curious, and those who are there to support their artist friends. Art galleries naturally go where the crowd is, even if it's inside a parking lot where this art fair is being held. And given the competition, gallery owners are showing the best in their collections. One gallery owner is banking on an established artist from Bacolod to attract attention and buyers. I'm showcasing 26 artists and using the symbol of the eye. The, type, the theme of the, of the exhibition is Kilas. What does this represent? This represents uh, Tristan Mariveles, who is an artist from Bacolod, represents the, the title is Urban Met. So it's really a commentary on, on drug issue in the Philippines. So, so each artist has his own way of telling the story to his own eye, I mean, the symbol. And I've noticed this has already been sold? Yes, it was being sold, yeah. It's art fair. It's, it's uh, enjoying the artwork and also owning an artwork. Apart from rooks of established artists, collectors also gobbled up this art piece from actor and budding artist Sien Lim. A painting entitled Everything About Her, priced at 50,000 pesos. Replicas of human heads using actual human hair that fetch 800,000 pesos, and a chair with a balloon that symbolizes longing, worth 210,000 pesos. Artists, of course, are a very important part of the ecosystem, of the art ecosystem. You also have the galleries, you have the museums, you have the art fairs, and the auction houses, perhaps, the art schools. So that's, that, I guess, that's who would comprise the ecosystem, the art ecosystem. It's a very exciting time. Clearly, the local art scene has never been this exhilarating. And that's thanks to the people behind fairs like this one, now on its fourth year. Shiloh Francisco, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.